Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Sparks Toyota in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, checking out 2015 Toyota Benza XLE. This is a really neat vehicle. Crossover at SRV, uh, SUV type of car. I don't know. I don't know what it actually classifies as, but it is pretty neat. It has plenty of room. It's kind of like a car that's a little bit taller. And gives you more room so you got the benefits of a like a small SUV and the looks of a car pretty much so it does have you can see just right off the bat uh, the 19 inch wheels really stand out and give you this vehicle a nice stance and a decent a really good ride as well with those larger wheels they are aluminum wheels by the way and the four-wheel disc brakes are ventilated so let's take a look here in the front we do have the projector headlights and they are halogen. Projector headlights and then you have the halogen re reflector high beams, which also serve as the daytime running lights there. And we have the fog lights as well there at the bottom. Nice classy silver design, silver grill, silver car. It's all kind of blends in. Looks really sharp with the silver wheels as well. So. And then of course you've got the the uh, tinted windows, so that really looks cool. Now the dealer tinted the windows so they do not come, the front glass does not come tinted, but definitely highly recommend that if it's legal in your area. All right, so let's take a look on the inside. Now this does have a proximity key, and so the key itself, I'm gonna show it to you real fast. If I can fish it out of my pocket. This is the key, and you can see it's just a box, and it does have that lock and unlock button. It also has the ability to open up the tailgate. Um, so basically, you just put your finger here. Now it's not gonna do it since it's already running, so it's gonna beep at me. But um, you can use that surface right there to lock and unlock the car. So it's not gonna lock now because it's already running and I got the key out, but that's how you do it. And then once you get in, it has a push button start. So here's the inside of the passenger door. Super classy car. It's got black there on the top and like a tan. I guess it's a tan color, the rest of it. And, um, and then you've got that wood grain accent there. You do have some stitching and soft to the touch area there. You have two bottle holders as well as some paper holders there on the bottom. It does have puddle lamps for nighttime down there. Then you've got that Venza badge there in the threshold. Now the seats are powered here on the passenger side with adjustable lumbar support. And the seats look and feel amazing. They're nice, have a nice bolster around you, but not too tight. They do have the perforations in the leather. And then you have this, uh, this black, accented black part right here. Very comfortable seats. They do have decent height off the floor, so you got some comfort for your legs and also plenty of leg room, as you can see, the way the dash is designed. Plus, you have this uh, dished out area for your knee to go, plus, which also accommodates for a, a pretty decent pocket there to put some stuff uh, when you get into the vehicle. There's a 12 volt power supply there as well. And the ability to get in the vehicle with your hands full, you got a, you know, say a bottle in one hand and you've got a, your cell phone in the other you get in you have all these places here to put stuff um, when you get in the vehicle to just kind of set it out of your hand just get them out of your hand and you know free up your hands so that's what i look for there's your glove compartment as well but usually glove compartments is, are, are pretty much jam full of junk anyway check out the texturing in the dashboard you've got this black texture and i don't know how to explain it but it's, it looks really sharp Classy looking. And functional. All right, so let's take a look at the back door. It's pretty much the same style as the front, just a little bit smaller. And you've got these, the back seats, just as high quality as the front with the perforations and everything. It does have the latch system for the car seats to go back here. You got a center armrest with a cup holder. 
and that can fold out of the way. You have some vents back here for the rear back seat drivers. And these seats will fold down. And uh, this will fold down flat if that seat was up more. Anyways, uh, this gives you the ability to pretty much double your cargo capacity as well as having a combination of, of uh, passenger and cargo space. Pretty neat. Another cool thing is, uh, it's kind of have to do this two-handed. Bear with me for a second. Just want to show you that this seat does recline as well. You just have to lift up the handle and push the seat back as you're doing it at the same time. So the recliner in the back seat will make the back seat drivers more comfortable so they will maybe won't bother you as much. So let's take a look at the back here. See it does have a chrome tip, chrome tip there for the exhaust on the right. Has a high mount spoiler here in the back. So uh, I can't really, it does have the power lift gate. I can't use the key right now because it's because it's running. So there is ability to do it with this button. Push and hold that and it opens up for you. Now typically when you just walk up to the car and it's not running and everything, uh, you can just use the key to push and hold it and opens up the tailgate. Or it has a button back there. You also have a button to lower it here, which I can do. So you can see it does have a, a shade here. And it's pretty interesting. Uh, this part of the shade is kind of covers that gap to keep the, the, the sun out. But also it floats back like that. So in case you... Um, you know, just want to do that, and it's magnetic. So the ma there's a magnet in there. We'll hold it there, and then that way, when you unhook it, it doesn't go flapping down as far. It already flaps down enough, but you don't want to flap it down all the way. All right. Um, you do have the ability to lower the seats using these handles here. You push, pull that right there, and the seats will fold down. Like I said, the front seat has to be a little bit further up for it to go all the way down. But back here, you can just pull that handle seat flops down and you're pushing in the big box that you want to push in there and you can remove that shade there to uh, to give you more height as well so you got some tie downs places there for grocery bags and stuff there and there you've got some storage space under here you notice these panels are plastic heavy duty plastic so you can really don't have to worry about them you can throw stuff back here here's your tools and under here is your spare tire and it is a full-size spare tire on a steel wheel. There's your anchors underneath these panels here for your car seats. Don't use these things, those are for tie downs. Your anchors for your car seats are under these panels. You do have a light back here as well. All right, so let's lower it down. Let's just push this button here and watch it go down. Fuel door is on the driver's side, which is always convenient. So let's go ahead and open that up, check it out. You see it has just a regular cap. Unscrew it, hangs right here. So it does have this string here, so you don't leave it behind. But it hangs right here, so that way it doesn't hang down and scratch your paint. And it is a lockable door, so uh, you can keep people from you know messing, siphoning your gas out or whatever. All right, so let's give you another perspective here. All right, let's take a look under the hood. Hopefully it won't be covered, the engine won't be covered up with plastic. It's one of the things I don't like. So just under here somewhere, is the latch yeah it's got the dual VVT system gives you more gas mileage and excellent power at the same time 2.7 liter four-cylinder engine six-speed automatic transmission and you can actually see some engine which I love to see some engine when I lift the hood got a little plastic cover there but not too bad I do get to see some metal so I'm happy 
All right, let's take a look on the inside. All right, here we are on the inside of the 2015 Toyota Venza. And I am very impressed with this vehicle. The roominess, it's got plenty of leg room, knee room. Very comfortable seats. Cold air conditioning, which I need it today. It's like 100 degrees outside, literally 100 degrees outside. But let's check it out. So here on this on the driver's door we've got all automatic power windows so you just push it like that it goes all the way down lift it up it goes all the way up and that's for all the windows that's pretty awesome plus you got power door locks there and you can block out everybody else from using the windows if you want to do that there and then these buttons are for your presets for your power your your power seat so you can set you know two different presets and uh, and that way when you get in the vehicle you don't have to constantly readjust the seat if two people are frequently buying uh, driving the car and you got your bottle holders down there and then over here we've got a little place to put some stuff coins and stuff like that easy to get to you can turn the power door off uh, that rear lift gate you can turn that off if you want to the side mirrors are adjusted with this system here and you can just choose left or right and then you can adjust it you can also push this button and fold them in so it has the power folding side mirrors pretty cool huh and then this is the button I showed you before lifting up the uh, the, the tailgate and then traction control button you can turn that off if you need to that's only for default is always on but if you need to turn the system off in case you get stuck and you spin wheels for some reason you can push it there it does have the automatic headlights here and you do have the ability to turn off your daytime running lights here and then automatic and then uh, parking lights and then your regular headlights there and then this is for your um, fog lights windshield wipers are here steering wheel black leather wrapped with black stitching hand stitched steering wheel with some bolsters here very comfortable very high class high quality feeling steering wheel so and it's very easy to steer steer with the electric power steering at low speeds, man, you can just, I mean, it's so comfortable, you know, pretty much any speed to drive this vehicle. It's so easy to drive. You need to really take one for a test drive to see what I'm talking about. So here on the steering wheel on the left side, you have the volume button up and down. So you, on the radio, you can just, with your hands on the wheel, set and eyes on the road, you can adjust the, um, you know, the radio button, uh, the volume. Uh, th these buttons here are for this screen and you can cycle through your presets up and down you can change through uh, like say different stations left and right here and then the center button is to make cho choices like you choose which one you want um, also down here it says mode that's for like say AM FM satellite radio that kind of stuff you can also play music through your Bluetooth phone, auxiliary input, USB, all kinds of cool stuff. So that's what that's for. Then you can back out of any screen. You know, if you go into a specific screen, you can back out of it there. On the right side of the steering wheel, we have some phone and voice options. And so basically, once you pair your cell phone with the system, if somebody's calling you, it's real easy. You just push this button and just start talking and say hello. Uh, this answers the phone this hangs up so you're done talking you push that button hangs up to make a call you just push this button and say hey call so and so and like say John Smith it happens to be a John Smith in your phone book on your phone that's saved it will call him you can also say tune to a certain station you can also say to go to a specific address in the navigation stuff like that there's a lot of voice commands that you can use uh, with the voice recognition system that keeps your eyes on the road hands on the wheel while you're doing all kinds of stuff so this is a really handy safety it's a very 
convenient feature, of course, but I consider it a safety feature, especially when you're um, sending and receiving calls uh, without fumbling with your phone. So these are all really good features. I highly recommend them in any vehicle. So down here is your cruise control. You do have to make sure it's turned on by pushing this button. Once you turn it on, you can set it by pushing down and you can resume and adjust your speed like that. And then pulling it in will cancel it. Now the, like I said. So here's the gauges and you can see it's real nice classy looking gauges. Real big speedometer there in the middle. And then you have your RPMs there to the left. And then you have your gas gauge and your temperature gauge there on the right plus your odometer there on the bottom. A really nice looking, colorful, easy on the eyes, and easy to read. Now, like I said before, this is a push button start. So basically the key is in my pocket. I just walk up, I touch the handle, I unlock the door, I get in, I put my foot on the brake, push the start button, and I'm away I go. And when I get done, I get push the button to stop the engine, get out, push the, button, the, the handle there on the outside, relock the doors. I never can never take the key out of my pocket the entire time. So it's designed to the key just to be on you and you can operate your vehicle without actually taking the key out and all that stuff. Really, really cool features nowadays in cars. So up here we have this screen that has a clock it also has the te outside temperature, but it's also telling you about your um, your climate control, what it's doing, and also your average fuel economy. Of course, that's not correct because uh, this vehicle is new and it hasn't really gone very, very far, so it's a little skewed there. But uh, it gives you a you know quick look there with that screen, and that's um, separate from this screen here. So this. All right. So if you wanted to change that at the bottom of the screen over here, uh, if you wanted to change where it says average fuel economy you can use this info button here and um, there's these buttons here this is your four-way flasher so that's a little bit different but pushing this info button let me kind of cycle through that so you can see the different things that you can have coolant current fuel economy distance to empty average speed um, trip timer and all that good stuff or you just have nothing there and you can always uh, reset it reset those op options here and then you can go into setup and this is where you can uh, adjust all kinds of stuff like your clock and um, your keyless entry um, all kinds of different things there so pretty neat little screen and that's completely separate from your touch screen which is down here your CD player is there at the top and then you've got the volume button and two through the stations there and eject your CD there and audio uh, this is where you know what you source you want once you choose a source like say Bluetooth audio or let's go to XM radio And then you've got your presets down here You can change to the stations if you want to and it gives you you know the, some information on what's playing and uh, Apps this is where let me go ahead and minimize that but this is where you got you know quick access to a lot of different things like your radio your audio but also your navigation screen your phone screen messages uh, eco, set, e uh, eco settings, uh, set up your screen, and traffic and weather alerts there. So I'm going to choose navigation just to show you what the map looks like. And here it is a top down view. You can change it to a um, you know different view too as well. But you can also push destination and put in a specific address. Um, you can get addresses out of your phone book, uh, that kind of stuff. Point of interest, previous destinations, or you can just hit go home and it'll take you back to your house once you save your house address. All right, so that's the the navigation uh, phone. Once you pair your phone, you'll have the ability to go in there and you can see your phone book. It'll have a keypad, all that good stuff to um, you know make and receive calls. Traffic. Um, you could go in here and you can you can. This is basically this will give you information based on your route that you're going so it's not really going to show anything right now uh, weather let's see right here so HD signal is required for your weather so use a combination of features to to access those things all right so the home button uh, this gives you your radio your phone information and your uh, it's like a split screen so you have your navigation screen your phone screen and your radio screen all in one you can seek through stations or change through the tracks. 
Uh, there's your phone button right there, which doesn't go anywhere because I don't have one um, selected. And then this right here is not a button. This is where your SD card goes in for updating your maps for your navigation. All right, so down here is your climate control. There's your temperature. So I've got it down set to low. I got there's the fan speed, the mode basically changes from where you want the air to blow, and then of course you could turn off the uh, the fan there, and then the passenger temperature is here, and right now it's you can sync them by pushing that button on and off, but you can also have them separate. So just pushing that will change it back and forth. And then here's where different places you can have like your defrosters recirculate the air and you know turn it on and off your AC. Heated seats, I'm not even gonna turn on the heated seats because it's already hot enough. But there they are right there for the winter time. Um, your left and right, you know, driver and passenger, heated seats, and you can change the level as well. So here's your shifter and really nice looking wood grain. And then you've got the leather and then the chrome there at the bottom. Really fancy looking. But, and also it's kind of curved a little bit like curved to the, towards the driver, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and put it in reverse, like so. And you'll see that the backup camera pops up. And you can see it's a wide angle lens, so you can see from the bumper to the sky and all the way around. Um, this is a very good safety feature, so you don't back into things. And uh, just, just convenience, and also you're confident when you're backing up. Sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know if there's... You know, somebody trying to walk behind me at a shopping center or at the mall or something, or kids or stuff like like if somebody walks past you with kids and you're like, oh, okay, did all the kids walk by? Where are they at? This gives you peace of mind when you're backing up that there's absolutely nothing behind you. So this is a uh, really good safety feature. Plus, you notice that red line that gives you an indicator that you don't want to go closer to something than that red line. That's that's the limit there. So continuing down. I can go down to like there's neutral there's drive and there's the drive mode to where you could just drive around don't have to worry about anything it'll change through all the six gears no problem but if you want to change the gears yourself you can go in here over here to sport mode and once you're there you can go through the cycle through the gears by pushing up and down and this is handy if you want to for whatever reason you want to have control over the gear ratios it's especially handy if you're going down a hill and you need to downshift in order to use some engine braking. All right, so this little thing, let me get back to that. Let me start here first, because that's kind of incorporated. So here's your cup holders, and um, this one does have like this sleeve, so you can change the size of the cup holder. And speaking of size of cup holders, let's just see about how big it is compared to, it does have ambient light in there too of my cell phone. It seems my, like my cell phone fits in there, but it doesn't really matter too much because we do kind of have this handy cell phone pocket right here. Designed for a cell phone, I think. That's what it looks like to me. But anyways, there's the, um, there's that. I guess you could put other stuff if you wanted to in there. But this whole thing slides back and then you've got this whole big pocket here for putting stuff. And you have a power supply, and this is where you'll find your USB and auxiliary inputs. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, this is closed. How in the world are my wires? If I plug in something, how am I going to... I have to, like, keep it in there? Is that what you're... You know, basically, this little place under here goes up through here. So you can see my... You can see finger comes out the other side. And then it has this little pressure thing, so you can put wires in through here, out, and plug into that. And then that way your wires can to power whatever device, like your cell phone or whatever, and you don't have to worry about it. So it's really cool. It has that little pass-through place um, for your wires. And of course you can, you can close it all up, like so, if you want to. Now another cool thing about this console, this whole, this is whole console thing is all can interconnected and has some neat little compartments. So here's your armrest, and so you can move, actually move this a little bit. Actually move it all the way back like that, and then you've got this little quick access pocket right here for putting stuff. You can lift it up, and then you've got this big compartment here, and this little compartment actually is a tray, and it comes out. And you'll notice that 
this has a little patch through place for putting wires through there. So I'm going to turn the night vision on so you can see. So this is all interconnected to um, you know for putting stuff in this in in here and connecting them all together. So really cool. So you can put something here and you can cover it up and then you need to grab it, you just do it and you close it up. Or if you just want you don't have anything up here and you just want to have more armrest, you can do that as well. Really neat, really comfortable and, and easy to use. Alrighty. So let's look up here. This is the auto dim rear view mirror. So at nighttime it will sense that the, there's less light and it will uh, dim the rear view mirror. It also has light sensors to where if there's somebody behind you that's, that the lights are blinding you, it will um, you know, dim the light as well. And you can turn that feature off right here if you wanted to. It does have a digital compass telling you, see it says SE, that's telling you that the vehicle's facing southeast right now. So right here is a place to put your shades. It does have like a... Um, a soft surface in there, I can't really tell what it is, like a foam so soft surface. Right here is your home link for your uh, your garage door openers. You just set those there for your garage door opener at home. Interior lights, uh, you can make it to where all of them are on. You can make it to where they only open, when the doors open they turn on, or you can have them completely off so even if you open up the doors they will not turn on. Right here is the little microphone for your Bluetooth phone. All right, so the visor has a mirror, but also a little light comes on when you open that up. Same thing on that side. All right, let's take a look at the visibility back here. Alrighty, what do you think about this vehicle? Let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate your feedback. I like it. Um, this is the first one I've seen and I'm very impressed with it. And I know you would be too if you were in my position. Really nice car. So if you have any questions, any clarifications, like I said, this is the first time I've seen this vehicle. So if you have anything to add, if you have any experience with this vehicle, please let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. I know everybody else would as well. And thank you for watching. Thank you Sparks Toyota for allowing me to show off this awesome car to the world. And I'll see you next time.